everybody. How is it going? I have Harrison here in the back seat and we are here to pick up his helmet. It is officially helmet day and I'm interested to see how this is going to go. I don't think he's going to like it very well. He's, he's very interesting, so to say. So anyways, we'll see how that goes. Um, funny story, today we are actually in Curtis's truck instead of my car because as I was driving to work this morning well first off I was taking Harrison to daycare and as I was turning on one of the roads I must have ran over something with my car because all of a sudden I'm going and then I just felt like the back end just kind of go pop up scared the crap out of me because I had no idea what was going on and by the time I get to um, daycare I can hear a little hissing sound coming out of my back tire so I call up Curtis and I'm freaking out because I'm like, I don't know what to do. I can't change the tire. Like technically I can, but those little itty bitty, um, I wanted to say crowbar, but those lug nut things, whatever they are, I'm having a very bad memory day to day. I have a really hard time unloosening the lug nuts on the wheels and it's a lot easier if I have the gun or if I have like the bigger, longer um, thingies. <laughs> Anyways. I drove home and I picked up the truck to drive today and I am not used to driving this thing. This is actually the second time that I have driven this since we have owned it and we've owned it for like two and a half years now and I prefer my car. I'm not used to driving something this big and so I feel like a little old lady because I'm sitting over you know the steering wheel just trying to see where I'm going because the sides of the car or the truck are just so big but anyways I turned the truck off it's not very warm today but it's getting warm inside this truck so we're gonna head on in say hi we are in here and I've got Missy here I'm just waiting for the orthodontist to come in so we can get the helmet I'm assuming adjusted put on all that jazz going for mommy's necklace Well, we made it home, and Harrison has a very sweaty head. Very sweaty, sweaty, sweaty head. Seriously, look how sweaty this is. Just like all sorts of wetness in there, and even with the holes. So, this is his helmet. It's putting pressure on the front of his head right here and the back of his head to push out the sides of his head right here where it's got the issue. And so today is day one wearing it and he is wearing it for a total of four hours. So here in the next little bit, he will have finished two hours and then he will get an hour off and then he will have it on for another two hours and then he will be done for the day.
and then tomorrow you'll wear it for a certain amount of hours and then be done and then the next day a certain amount and then by day four he will be in it 23 hours a day so he's supposed to wear it 23 hours a day for the next most likely four months i'm assuming and hopefully that helps out his head and make it to where it's supposed to look make it to where make it to look like it's supposed to be i can't talk today my brain is just elsewhere but so that's his helmet and he is currently just eating a cracker just got home not too long ago so gave him some food he had some yogurt and now he's eating a cracker and speaking of crackers i'm getting hungry and i don't know what we're going to do to, for dinner tonight tonight's actually well to not tonight tonight today today i can't talk today <laughs> today is our anniversary curtis and i have been married for four years and yeah he's over there complaining because i'm such a horrible person <laughs> but um so i don't think we're going to be doing anything because my car is currently at the tire shop issues with the tire and why is it not focusing on my face there we go now it's focusing on my face and so i don't know what we'll do maybe we'll see about just going and grabbing something quick because i don't know if i want to cook today and then just really hang out here in the next little bit i'll uh get, do a demonstration on how we actually have to take care since helmet off his head it's quite interesting because with the way that his helmet is set up there is a screw on the top and a little um the screw on the top of his head and then a little here i'll show you so there's the screw on the top of his head <laughs> he's like what you doing mama so there's the screw on the top of his head right there and so it allows this piece and this piece to kind of like separate away. And then the Velcro strip in the back just holds it in place. So when you take it off and on, it's actually quite interesting because you have to like open it up like you do an egg. And you crack it open an egg. So quite interesting. We'll have to uh, show you how to take it off because I've never taken it off or put it on. The orthodontist when we were at the appointment did all that. So. That wasn't all me, that was all him. And Harrison did not like the orthodontist at all. As soon as he came in, he started to cry because he's thinking, oh no, this guy's gonna take me away from my mom and I'm not liking this. So I felt bad, it was quite cute, but I felt bad for him. Anyways, I think I'm gonna go find a snack as I keep moving around my kitchen and I'm going to put Harrison down on the ground, let him crawl around for a bit. He's got 20 minutes left in his helmet for the next little bit. He's got 20 minutes left and then he'll have an hour off. I need brain food. So, see you guys in a bit. All right, everybody, we are going to take his helmet off. His head is very, very sweaty, so this will be interesting to see how it goes. So. So you just kind of pull it, open it, and then just slides off. Oh my gosh, look how sweaty that head is. Is you sweaty, baby? Oh my gosh. He's got sweat dripping down his head. And sweaty head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Super sweaty in there. So, yep, that's his little helmet. So, you get to have it off for the next hour, Mr. Sweaty Boy. You can feel the you can feel the heat radiating from this thing. It's crazy. Okay, one hour is up, and Harrison is back in his helmet again. And we just got done eating some dinner. Curtis went and got us some food, and I just climbed up the stairs really fast, so I'm out of breath. But um, Harrison's not too happy because he has, one, he has the helmet back on. And then two, I put the little gate up to make it so he can't climb up the stairs. And he's not very happy. He's 
pretty mad. Just got Harrison down for the night and I am about ready to go to bed as well. I have to work in the morning. So I am going to clean Harrison's helmet. Um, one nice thing about his helmet is we can take rubbing alcohol to it and clean it that way because as they're wearing the helmet and they're sweating in it, there's going to be a lot of bacterial growth. So I can just take some rubbing alcohol and a cotton ball and just wipe it down on the inside, let it air dry, and he's ready to go. So I'm going to go clean the helmet and then I'm going to go get in bed as well. So. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow. Please share with your friends. And I will see you all to li till later. <laughs> I will see you later and tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye.